Hello, uh, welcome everybody, pupils and parents. Uh, it's Mr. Cook, uh, Miss Roberts, uh, and we are going to take you through uh, a walkthrough of uh, what the school is going to look like when you return on the 29th. There's obviously lots of, of amendments that have been made in line with um, Welsh Government guidance, uh, observing the two metre social distancing, uh, and you're going to see either myself or Miss uh, on camera speaking, and hopefully this video will um, allay any of your concerns uh, or answer any questions. Anything you want to add to that, Miss? No, we've missed you. It's going to be nice to welcome you all back in safely uh, at a delightful two metre distance. So let's get cracking. This is two metres, by the way. Okay. So, if you're a pedestrian and you're walking into school, you are just going to come in to either this entrance or the other side entrance. You are then going to come in alone. You're going to make sure that you're observing the two metre social distancing rules, which you'll be able to see by the stencils on the floor. And then you'll start to make your way up to the school via the pedestrian crossing. Who are transporting their pupils to school via car will come in in the usual way but you'll notice here that the usual two lanes of entrance have been reduced to one so you follow the cones around here and you will notice that the only permitted place to drop off your child are going to be the three pupil drop off points which you can see just in front of me and I'm walking to one now so if your child, if you're dropping off in the first drop-off point, then you will uh, uh, exit to the left. And if you are in those two bays, you will exit to the right. Okay, so we are entering the school on foot. We are observing the two meter social distancing length behind us. And if I flip around, you will then see clearly Mr Finch and all of the uh, caretakers have done a fantastic job in ensuring that the pupils know where they are going and the distances they must observe. So if you are coming in on bus um, you may be able to see it's very simple once again you have the shields on the floor that show you social distancing when you get off the bus there's going to be plenty of staff here every morning for any questions to monitor the spacing between buses and the arrivals and departures. You're walking into the main entrance, following the stencils, keeping two metres apart and keeping to the right. We've arrived at this point adhering to the two metre social distancing guidelines. If you are a member of staff, you're obviously going to carry on straight into the main entrance. If you are a pupil, um, you are going to head through once again, following those chevrons round to the other side of the school, where you'll see your appropriate entrance for your classroom. If you are in sixth form, you are going to go around this way. If you are in the lecture theatre or the main hall for your lessons, these doors are going to be open. You're going to filter in through there to your appropriate room. So, as you can see, Mr Cook is following the path that he should be taking in relation to the chevrons on the floor. He is going to follow that all the way around and make his way to the exits and entrance of T Boiter door. When he arrives there, he's going to wait for the teacher to welcome him in. Hey. Mr. Cook is now coming in through the doors. He is going to stand at the designated spot. You're going to have a member of staff where I am stood currently, and then they are going to have the temperature blipper. Your temperature is going to be taken. And if it's fine, we're going to carry on. Okay, and what you will then do is once you've had your temperature taken, you will be uh, asked to sanitise your hands and then you will head to your classroom. So we've just had our temperature taken, we've sanitised our hands and now uh, Miss Roberts knows that she's in G1, Mr Mitchell's room. So this is how you would enter, you follow the yellow uh, arrows, you walk in. The door will be wedged open. Now, if you see Miss Roberts, she's gonna to go to the furthest chair. So you don't take the chair just in front, you don't take a random chair. You go all the way around and you take the furthest there and you take a seat and you're ready. What you'll notice about the size of this room, everybody is obviously, there's only space for uh, nine chairs. That's as much as we could get in. 
to the classrooms. Uh, for staff members, uh, each classroom desk will have the uh, hand sanitizer, the anti back and tissue and, and everything else you need in your comfort pack. Now, when the lesson is over, when you exit the room, you'll be guided by your teacher. But as you can see, Miss Roberts has miraculously changed seats. So she is now sitting at the desk nearest the door. And so obviously you'll stand behind your chairs and you'll exit the door, which is jarred open, and you'll make your way out of the classroom. All right, so we've exited the classroom. Uh, we could be excellent to go to the toilet. We are still observing the two metre rule. Now, if you're in classrooms G1 to G4, uh, what you will then do, the toilets you will use, uh, you'll have to take straight away. You'll take, you go through here, through the LRC, and you'll follow it all the way around and use the toilets um, down at the front of the school. All of the classrooms in G1 and G8. So that's well, the Welsh classrooms and the English uh, classrooms on this strip. Uh, to exit the building, you exit out of the far entrance at the end of this corridor, this one here. So what you'll see at the top there, you've got exit for class. If you're in classrooms G5 to G14, then you come to the end of the English corridor and you'll see it's all signposted here toilets for classroom G5 and G14 and you follow it around and you'll use the toilets which are just outside uh, Miss Knight and Miss Caulfield's room. If when you uh, come to school uh, first thing in the morning and you realise you are on the second floor in rooms F2 and F17, you do not enter the building through T Boiter as has been previously demonstrated, but as Miss Roberts is now showing us, you enter through the doors just outside the Welsh corridor. And then when you come in, in the same way, Miss will come in, she will be scanned for her temperature and when the temperature has been taken you'll obviously be instructed to sanitize your hands and then you'll be able to move to your classroom which again is demonstrated via the yellow signage on the floor so these are for pupils who are in classrooms f2 to f17 okay so we're at the top of the stairs now um, we know it's a lot of information to take on, but this top floor, the first floor, is very, very similar, almost exactly the same in the root as the ground floor. Um, as long as you're following those arrows and you're being aware of your classroom and the signs, you should be absolutely fine. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, the signage there, if you were in classrooms F2 and F6, then you need to cut through the LRC to use the toilets around um, the corner that overlook the main hall and as you follow the signs uh, on the floor through two meters you follow them round you will see just past mr fisher's classroom you will then see that's where you exit the building now if you are in classrooms f7 to f22 then you follow the signs around and you will use the toilets on the second floor which are located on the science corridor. So the main difference with the exits is that we are going to be using an exit that we haven't used previously. So if you're making your way out here, you're going to head down here where you'll see the sign exit for classrooms F11 to F22. Walk through the door. Once again, we're following the signs all the way down. And they continue down here. And if we're exiting, we're going to go straight out these doors. Okay. Once again, you're going to be able to see the chevrons on the floor for that two meter social distancing. Your teacher will lead you out all the way down to the bottom of the driveway, and then you'll be exiting the school. Okay, so once again, as we're coming into T Boiter, you're noticing the arrows on the floor with that social distancing rule. The arrows also follow down the different aisles. You are going to go down, take a seat, please do not move your seat. They've been placed so you're at a safe distance from others. Um, and this is where you're potentially going to be having a little bit of time during break for snack that you've brought yourself. Once again, use your common sense, 
maintain that social distancing. That's going to be really easy with the signs on the floor. Okay, so that concludes the, the guide for uh, returning to school. There may be a couple of things that we've left out, but the signage and the, um, the directions in the school are excellent. So look at all the, of the emails and the guidance that have been sent out to yourselves and parents um, to help you with your return. Oh, just remember the, the two metre social distancing, remember the hand sanitising, um, and you won't go far wrong. Ms. Roberts, anything to add? Again, we're just looking forward to seeing you back and getting back to uh, what potentially is going to be a new normal. Okay, see you next week.